John 4.27 Et continuo venerunt discipuli eus, et mirabantur, quia cum muliere loquebatur. Nemo tamen dixit, quid quaeris, aut quid loqueris cum ea? And straight away, or just then, the disciples of him came, and they were amazed that he was speaking with a woman. But nobody said, what are you seeking? Or why are you speaking with her? After an absence of quite a few verses, Jesus' disciples return here after the key part of Jesus' encounter with the woman at the well, the Samaritan woman. And they're confused, as many Jewish men of the time would have been, about what exactly is going on here and um, why Jesus is having a conversation with this person, who both because she's a woman and because she's a Samaritan is an unlikely conversation partner for him. As far as the Latin is concerned, the main thing I would draw your attention to is these deponent verbs. What does deponent mean when we're talking about Latin verbs? Deponent means vox activa forma passiva. At least that's how I teach it to my students. Active voice, but passive form. That is to say, deponent verbs are verbs that have put off their active forms. That's what deponent means from depono, deponere, to put off or kind of put aside. And instead, they appear exclusively, in most cases, in the passive form, but the meaning, the sense, the actual voice is active. So we'll look at some examples here as we go. First of all, we can comment on continuo, fun and useful little adverb here, more or less equivalent most of the time to statim. You've heard statim if you've heard doctors on a TV show say stat, give me the scalpel, stat. That's actually an abbreviation of statim at once. And continuo means the same thing, right at that moment, immediately following upon something that had just happened. And you can see that development from the adjective continuous, right? Continuous in an unbroken sequence. When something happens continuo, it happens in an unbroken sequence with what happened just before. It, it immediately happens, in other words, after the previous thing. When nerunt, third person plural, perfect active indicative from venio venire, to come. And his disciples got there. They came, disciples of him, that is of Jesus. And here's our first opponent verb, mirabantur. This is from miror, mirari. This is a first conjugation deponent verb, meaning to be full of wonder or to admire something or to be astonished at something, to be surprised, amazed. All of those can work depending on the context. So let's just parse this to make sure we're on the same page. Third person plural, the disciples are the subject here, and we could either say active voice if we're talking about the sense, or we could say passive voice if we're referring to the form. As far as the form is concerned, it's a passive form. And the untur there is what clues you into that. This is a very characteristic ending. My students often find it easy to recognize this because it doesn't look like anything else. Untur is always going to be a telltale sign for us. So third person, plural passive in form, imperfect indicative. And the imperfect is signaled by this ba infix because this is a first conjugation verb, mirabantur. But it's not they were being wondered at passively. In fact, the sense is active because it's a deponent verb. It's, a, it's kind of a false friend. It's, uh, it might deceive you if you're not careful. So mirabantur, they themselves were astonished. They were amazed that, introducing an object clause here, as we've seen so many times, that he, we have to supply here, and this is Jesus is the subject. From the context, we can tell that. Loque batur, and this is another deponent verb. Loquor, loqui, which is more or less the equivalent of dico dicere, to speak, to say something. Cum muliere loque batur. They're amazed that 
Jesus was speaking. Notice that ba again, that's our imperfect tense. Jesus was speaking with the woman or with a woman. And here this is ablative following cum as we're used to seeing it. Now here we'd have to drop some punctuation and look right to tamen, which here probably is equivalent to something like English but or nevertheless. But nobody, nemo, dixit, said, and then here is what nobody said. You can put a little series of quotations here. These are the things that nobody said, and these are questions. What are you seeking? What are you looking for? Or even more broadly, we could say, what do you want? Now, the is second person singular, active, present, indicative here is referring to Jesus. What What is it that you're seeking with her? Or what is it that you're trying to accomplish here? And we know from context that this is referring to Jesus because look at this next question. Or why, and this is a great example of these two next to each other, the fact that quid sometimes can mean what, sometimes can mean why. It depends on context. So you have to make the decision as the interpreter. Why are you speaking, again, looks like a forma passiva, said vox activa, active voice in sense, even though the form is passive. Why are you speaking cum ea, here again, ablative with cum, just as we had up here. Why are you speaking with her? 